also tuning in. Thank you very much. Also, if you can also share this as well, we will please really share, share. Please share. And we have Mr. Camden Marsh with us today. We welcome him in our student spotlight edition of our homecoming. Alumni, thank you very much for tuning in today. And any students that are here, thank you for tuning, tuning in as well. All right, let's get on down to interview. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, awesome. So, you know, give people a little background starting off first, All okay? Right. So what's your classification? Um, classification is a senior. Okay. Uh, my major is music with a concentration in piano. Uh, originally hailed from North Carolina, um, the city of Monroe. A lot of people don't know it, so it's outside of Charlotte. Um, but that's really my origin, who I am, where I'm from. Okay, and that's where your family and everything is yeah, from as man. well. Grew up Union Born County, yes, sir. All right, oh, so, so you're a South Carolina native, so that's that's pretty awesome here. Yeah, a little bit of both, no offense. South. Okay, that's yeah, no offense. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Um, so clearly you go to Allen University, yes, sir. um, and. I know you've done a lot of great things for Allen University, but you know, we can't forget about people who have touched you, you know, since you've been here, and that happens to be your professor. So, who were the most influential professors for you here at Allen University? Um, since I've been here at Allen, uh, some of the um, most influential have been majority of music um, faculty and staff um, because I'm a music major, um, but the ones that have very been keynote um, in my life has been um, Professor Kenneth Green. Um, Mrs. Ginger Jones Robson and my piano professors, um, the former Dr. Vincent Delatonia Jr. and okay. Dr. Alan Rudell. Mm -hmm. And I would not be remiss if I didn't um, mention also former um, professor here, Dr. Albert Bryan Jr. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm, I'm, we, we both can, you know, connect with that. Yeah. I'm also a music Yeah, creator, relatable, so, yeah. Um, I think that is very great. And those people have helped mold me too. So it's very interesting to hear that coming from another fellow student. Right. So that's very awesome. Um, so, a lot of things have taken place at Allen University this year. I mean, Allen University has been in the spotlight, and one of the main things that we've done is the Senate debate. Mm -hmm. And I heard you, you know, you got to work with that. Actually, I got to work with it too, yeah. so I saw you. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think the people really know what you did. So mm -hmm. why don't you share with the people exactly what you took place during the okay. Senate debate? So for the 2020 uh, Senate debate in South Carolina, I had the privilege and task of helping out with the news crew, WIS TV. Um, and what they did was help you know, basically live stream the debate. And with that, I helped with the, um, with the production of it, which was taking place in Chappelle Auditorium. And with those influential professors I was telling you about, um, they helped me with the building and the infrastructure and how it works as far as the lighting, audio, ins and outs of the building. So a lot of things that have taken place along with the Senate debate, like the new coming of Common that just took in place. Exactly. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, introduction of Chappelle Auditorium in general, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant, Dave Chappelle, and many others have come through. Yeah. And I had the, the great privilege of helping out with that. But for so the debate, I was helping along with the production of it. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's just try to get into those experiences a little bit more. Like, how did you first get started in even being able to do anything when it involves the lights or the media with um, Allen University? Okay, um, like I said, with the with me being a musician, um, I came in contact with a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. um, and at first it wasn't even work study for me, I was doing it out of the kindness of my heart. Okay. So that's one thing because I'm a musician at first, so with anything, I like to do the lights, I like to do the sounds because I am that kind of guy, I'm kind of current with mm -hmm. things going on in the world. So I like to hear things properly, I like to see things properly, and if I have the opportunity to help out with it, mm -hmm. I want to help with that. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's very, very awesome. Um, yeah. And it's really great to hear, and it's so awesome uh, having you here with us today. Uh, so what helped prepare you for that? Like, what, what helped prepare you to be able to do those things? Uh, what, did you have to take any classes? Did you, did you already know how to do those things before you came to Allen University? Or like, you know, just sure. reeling the fishing rod out there. Like what actually prepared you to be confident in what you do? Um, ooh, confident, yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, but growing up, uh, I started playing music um, at the age of two, honestly. 
honestly. Uh, shout out to my mother and father. Um, I was playing with pins and lampshades, honestly, <laughs> honestly. And then I started playing um, actually music at the age of four with the drums. And then in the seventh grade, I started playing with um, piano okay. um, and organ and electric piano, all of that. Um, so it's been a lot of confidence built up over time. Mm -hmm. But as far as with actual lighting and audio, that started happening at the end of my high school, at the beginning of college. Okay. Coming here, seeing um, Dr. Brian doing what he do, I'm like, man, how do you do that? Yeah. What do you do with that? Mm -hmm. So just the job shadowing of it mm -hmm. inquired my mind to actually want to do the work, okay. get my hands on with it. Okay, so you did not actually do um, at all, and at like all, at okay, all, okay. at all. So, okay, hey, hey, that takes tenacity, that takes strength, that takes spirit to really dive into a lot experience. of determination, man. Yeah, yeah, especially diving into an experience that has like really kind of sort of nothing that much to do with the major that you came here to do. Is that exactly. so, um, that's great that you provided this service for Allen University because clearly without you right now, you know, who will we have? Yeah. Um, and so, I'm very appreciative of it, though. I'm very appreciative. I don't want it to be like I'm course. blowing horns, but I appreciate it. Uh, of course, and I appreciate Allen University too. Uh, do you see yourself, before you get out of this transition, do you see yourself kind of sort of working or involving other students, maybe training up other students so that they know what to do as you exit? Yeah, of course. In fact, I have a few um, friends and colleagues of mine that actually work along with me. Okay. Um, they, they grow as I do. They learn as I do because I don't know everything, but the majority that I know, I give to them because I'm not going to be here always. Right. You know, so everything you have to learn and you have to pass it on. That's the that's the circle of life. Well, that's that's pretty that's, that's pretty great and pretty awesome. Again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Just want to give you another shout out. Thank you. Make sure you share this live. Please share. And Please share. make sure you guys give a quick shout out to Allen University and the students that we have here. Uh, so with that being said, after all the great things you've done at Allen University, we talked about your classification, we talked about your Everything else that you you know your major, everything out of university. What are your what are your future goals? What are your future aspirations? Where do you see yourself? Okay. Um, once I obtain this degree here at Allen, um, I plan to further um, divulge into the music industry. Mm -hmm. um, along with that, since I've been working with lights and technology and audio and sound, I want to further dive into that as well. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to be um, culminating along with audio and okay. lights and sound. I want to do it on a broader expansion, basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you see yourself pretty much having your own business or working with other people, or how do you see? Oh, a little bit of both, um, mm -hmm. because I can I can do it myself. But mm -hmm. it's, it's best to do things in a teamwork aspect. Mm -hmm. So, of course, I would like to learn with other people. And then if I get the wherewithal to do it by myself and then start it on my own, then I'll eventually go with that. I, I get you. Is there a, a squeezing room for grad school in there anywhere? Ew, or? man. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Because okay. I really need the opportunity to learn. I want to okay. do it the right way. I don't want to do it the wrong way. Because okay. you, learn wrong, you learn longer wrong. Okay. So you'd rather do it the right way. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty much awesome. So... So we talked about your aspirations um, and where do you see yourself. Um, we talked about the chapter here at Allen University. We talked about the next chapter a little bit briefly, but I want to get a little bit further into that chapter. So um, when it comes to, you know, you working with other people, when it comes to you building your own empire and stuff like that, where do you see the circumference or the full circle vision of this whole thing? Like once you graduate, um, are you going to have like... Um, the production company are you gonna work with the news are you gonna have oh, like what do you what do you what are you seeing here what do you see just for yourself okay immediately mm -hmm. is going to be me furthering my craft in music okay that's immediate okay now as far as later on down the road mm -hmm. like even with grad school that's kind of immediate as well but once i do that i will gradually learn the, mm -hmm. the right people the right connections because i do have connections with wis tv now mm -hmm. with the help of the news crew, so I do have an opportunity to job shadow and different revenues with that. So a lot of it can be gradual or over time. It just depends on what you want to do in your own mindset. So immediately, I'm gonna do myself first, and then I'm gonna learn from others, and then try to culminate it all together. Awesome. So let's 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 just not skip over the instrumentation part because right. I want everybody to get a, a feel of actually what you play, mm -hmm. what instruments you play, and what instruments do you get into. So tell the people. Right, right. Um, I play the drums. Um, since I've been here, I play the bongo, uh, the organ, pipe organ, piano, um, and keyboard. Uh, and I also want to learn other instruments as well, but that's later on down the road for myself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Hey, but you're a percussionist, and so that's. I think there's a term of. There's a difference between a drum player and a percussionist. You know what I mean? A percussionist is very well versed. 
a lot of people don't even know that the piano is a part of a percussion instrument. Yeah. You know oh. what I mean? So being able to flip from a drum and go into the piano, I think really much puts you in that realm of a percussionist. And yeah. it's so awesome that you have perfected that craft. Um, so with that being said as well, with those instruments and everything that you play, where do you play? Where do you play in the area? Uh, oh, well. What do you do? <laughs> I'm all over the grid, man, okay. honestly. Um, I play at um, a church, uh, shout out to Empowering Word Ministries, um, in Waysboro, North Carolina, but I have been blessed to play for the school, for multiple people. Um, for example, the Bernie Sanders uh, Prayer Breakfast, um, different uh, for the Mayor's Banquet. Mm -hmm. um, I play with the Jazz Ensemble in many different revenues. Mm -hmm. um, I play for the UNCF Gala here. Mm -hmm. um, I play for um, different AME functions here. I play for the NAACP president, Columbia mm -hmm. Branch president. So I'm all over North and South Carolina. Um, but I also want to venture out as well. So I'm basically all over the grid when it comes to the okay. Carolinas. Okay, that's pretty, that's awesome. So that still means that you're available to sign contracts at any time to continue to work, correct? When they call me, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> when they call me, I'm going. You heard it here first. On that <laughs> right. Right. That's Bill Burst. He has your back. Uh, so, so moving forward back to Allen University um, and your life and what you're going to do afterwards, um, or even while you're still here, uh, do you see yourself being involved in any internships? Are you a part of any internships? Or how was that going for you? Okay, as far as the internships, um, I basically call what I do an internship. Um, it's not an internship. They consider it work study here, and I'm blessed with that. Um, but I haven't really had a chance to do an internship because I'm always busy with music. Mm -hmm. um, and with being part of the Jazz Ensemble, we had opportunity to do different events where we did get compensated, and then there were some where we did it you know, out of the kindness. Not saying anything is right or wrong with that. That's just how we did things. Mm -hmm. So I would consider my life as a whole an uh, internship, a job, a career. So okay. I don't really consider it an internship. So no. Okay. I think that I think that is really great. I think we packed in a lot of information um, in the short amount of time right. that we have to do yeah. the interview. Um, Allen University, thank you very much for tuning in today. So we're gonna ask this one more question for you, okay? And that question is if you had not come to Allen University what do you think uh, your dreams and aspirations would be and where do you think they would be? Um, if I had not attended Allen University, I would be in a longer and longer, like I talked about earlier, mm -hmm. stage of learning things mm -hmm. um, because I would have attended a different school, mostly not, a, not even an HBCU, honestly, because mm -hmm. um, I really came here along with my sister because she was a former student. Absolutely. Um, so me getting this HBCU experience was very culminating for me. Mm -hmm. um, me also learning from the professors that came my way to help create who I am and what I do. Mm -hmm. I'm very appreciative for it. So I probably will be in a long, in a long state, honestly. I think that's pretty awesome. So you heard it here first, Allen University definitely has different opportunities and different things for the students to be able to learn and grow, even if it's outside of their major. And I think you heard it here first with our Student Spotlight Edition here for our homecoming. Again, we want to say thank you for tuning in and thank you for choosing Allen University. Alumni, we thank you for continuing to give back and continuing to create those memories. Thank you students for starting your memories today. Here at Allen University, this is where all can be imagined. Thank you all.